Well, I'm Frank Edouard I am the former chairman at the Little Traverse Bay Bands of Odawa Indians. We are now standing on our reservation and we're at our housing complex and at the community center for our housing complex. Um, we're in Emmett County, Michigan, right up near the tip of the Lower Peninsula. Uh, our traditional homeland here is the Waganukasing, or at the Crooked Tree Place. And we're the Waganukasing Odawa. That's our traditional name for our tribe. Water is life. Water is essential for life. And we need to respect it in the same way, whether we have a little bit or a lot. One of the things to think about to help you get a perspective on water and if you're flying over Lake Michigan and you're say at 30,000 feet in the airplane and, and as you're flying over there's a moment when you're looking out the window that that you can't see either shore. Now it's not very long it's just a moment or two you can't see either shore and when you do that you, all you see is water when you look out and if you look down on the surface of that lake you see one of those thousand foot freighters and it's about this big down there just a little tiny thing but if you took that freighter and stood it on its end in the deepest point in Lake Michigan, over a hundred feet of it would still be standing up above the water. So what appears to be this a vast amount of water is actually a relatively shallow film of water laying on the land. We have to think about individually what we can do as well as collectively what we can do in greater and greater proportions all the way up to working on national laws. Laws can be undone when they become inconvenient for too many people. So we have to work really hard to protect the lakes and to understand and have everybody get on board with the idea of how important it is to protect this ecosystem. Because this ecosystem doesn't just affect here. This ecosystem, the Great Lakes, affects the weather throughout the whole country. It affects the, the plant life and the birds and, and the migration of birds. You know, a lot of the, the birds in the Gulf in the winter, they migrate from the north and they come through the Great Lakes. And so what we've got is we've got, this has such an amazing effect on all of the United States and North America and the world for that matter, that it would be very uh, sad if we looked at it only from a narrow point of view and looked at it strictly as a commodity that we needed in other places and not looked at it for what it truly means to the health of Mother Earth.